I, I got the lists up, right? Because my job around here is to make sure that I have the match list pulled up so that I can read off who the match was and you can talk about it because you're the expert. I'm just the comic relief. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Nah, I mean. Nah, I mean, son. Nah, I mean, son. <laughs> yeah. Punch, kick. Oh, oh, that's a scary movie. <laughs> oh, dude, uh, this court seems weird as fuck right now. Have you ever talked to yourself? <laughs> um, I guess you try calling me. I don't know. This thing's fucking weird. It says there's a call, but... All right, all right. Let me... <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I had to check my Snapchat. <laughs> Got a new whoop, one, man. Whoop, whoop, indeed. Juggalos in this bitch. Motherfucker? Oh, fucking hell. I ain't been doing shit. If I had to go to Walmart, do a few other things this morning, you know, blah, blah. <laughs> but yeah, wrestling, right? So what, you recording? Is that what I'm saying? We're, we're yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, I, I guess the show hasn't started yet because you haven't done, like, your show starting thing, but... Your show starting thing? But, I mean, I did I did hit the button. I have a show start. Welcome to Beyond the Gimmick. See, now you can't even splice that. Like, it was mid-sentence, so you yeah, know. Yeah, no. Okay, what are you so, going to do? So we're just going to... I, Because I, for a second, I was like, oh, man, I'm going to splice that in the end. And now it's like, no, nah, that's where the show is starting. Um, so I think the first thing we should do is make Let excuses, everybody know about a 3DS. Right? And say, oh, new one. To new Nintendo 3DS. <laughs> <laughs> but you came out like a, two years ago. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think. Uh, do do you want to make um excuses for uh what was the last one even called? Payback. Uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, it was folks, all Johnny's fault. We we made a podcast about that. It was the best <laughs> podcast ever. If you can't see it, that's your problem. <laughs> YouTube fucked it, you know, it made it private on my end, so you can't see it over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, go to patreon.com forward slash beyond the gimmick. Not a real Patreon. And uh, <laughs> Let's say, hold up now. <laughs> you yeah. money out of this? You need some money too, man. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. You Did you bet. want your cut of the Patreon money for your <laughs> podcast? Yeah, look, maybe so. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you get 25 cents. Whoop, whoop. But uh, yeah, payback. I don't even remember like what, what happened to payback. I don't care. I don't yeah, care. I know. Well, <laughs> I watched it. I know that. Uh, Braun Strowman won, which I didn't see coming. That that's the only thing I remember about it. So um, much for that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. Now. I didn't even watch it. I I, I, I watched it, but uh, I don't even feel bad about this. But I literally have watched like no wrestling since WrestleMania. <laughs> I've watched a bit, been, like, like I, I watched, uh, I watched enough to know how how to talk about backlash and and take over Chicago. But I, uh, I don't know, man. It was just just life <laughs> gone a different direction recently. Uh, um, a big thing that happened is the hockey playoffs. Fuck hockey. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. So that like legit. Um, when the playoffs first start, you're there's like a hockey game on every night. So I was I was yeah, you know, sometimes yeah. two or three or four. And Fuck. I I was doing that instead. Um now the playoffs are starting to calm down cuz there's only four teams left. Uh, yeah. Go Ottawa. And the Bears. What? Wait, it's probably not. I said the Bears, is that the Bears. team. Yeah, the um, Bears. <laughs> and also uh I've been bit by the Metal Gear Solid Five bug way harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought I thought I was just gonna start playing the game and play a uh, a couple hours every here and there, and then it's just like, well, better S rank everything. <laughs> so tell me, Johnny, which big boss are you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Still learning, out, man. <laughs> shout out to a podcast called Metal Gear Mondays. Where they uh, take an in-depth look at all the Metal Gear games, starting with MGS, 
and right now they're on. See, uh, hold up. But go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, on MGS four, because uh, I drive for a living and I can listen to podcasts, so I've been like catching up on speed. that one. Uh, but it did all kind of start with the because. I mean, when it comes to Metal Gear, like, I think there's things that everybody knows, you know, like, like there's a solid snake, there's a liquid snake, there's a solid dust snake, you know, <laughs> like, like there's a few things that everybody kind of just knows whether you've played a Metal Gear game before or not, right? Spoiler alert, quiet does. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I chose not to kill her. <laughs> no, that's like in Metal Gear, like one, because it's the future or something. You got the oh, fighter yeah, 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 yeah. in a sniper battle. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, well, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Uh, so yeah, it all started with the question: oh, Which snake am I right now? <laughs> yeah. Right, because it kept saying basically uh, venom punished snake, and I'm like, well, is that naked snake? And so then it just started the question, and now we've come to the determination. You and me, we've decided the best thing to do. Since we started with, well, I started with the newest game, is I'm just gonna play them all <laughs> in reverse, chronolog, not chronological, verse release order. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, once, that once I'm release order is definitely not chronological. Five, I'm I'm gonna play them <laughs> totally There's, backwards. I, the the next one isn't rising. Then the next one you gotta play is Metal Gear Ground Zeroes. The demo for five. Oh, yeah. well, it's, just, I, I it's its own separate game. Yeah, yeah, you played I played that one? it. Okay. I right, played yeah. it. Well, because yeah. I, I picked up the uh it was the definitive edition, so it came with both. Yeah. And then when I saw yeah. that there was like a save upload, I went back and did that mission. Boy, I'm not gonna lie, would I have been disappointed if I bought ground zeros? It was it was a demo, as it was just a glorified demo. That I bought was, Ground Zeroes. You know what I bought it for? For Konami five decision. Like you could tell <laughs> that Konami's like, uh, look, Hideo, um, we got to release something here, okay? <laughs> you know. But yes, yeah. I, I'm doing that. I'm playing them in reverse order. I'm I'm gonna call it Solid Gear Metal. <laughs> See, yeah, I'm I'm playing Rising Revengeance. Uh, well, I started it over, so yeah, I'm currently like kind of playing that. Good game. Oh. slicing shit up and shit yeah by the way i do reserve the right to not play metal gear survive when it comes out uh. <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> I, I, yeah I, yeah I, I don't i don't i don't want i don't want to play it just to respect coach <laughs> i don't i don't really care about that to be honest with you i would love to sit here and be like oh i told her and i do i'm happy for kojima i'll get his new game i'll get death stranding I so will when get are you it on play? day one. Now that I've been yeah. bitten by the Kojima bug, Parasite, yeah. So once you once you get to like Metal Gear One and stuff, are okay. you gonna go back to like play Snatcher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Check this out. I I've been bitten by the Kojima Parasite, which I believe turns out to be a nano machine. One day. <laughs> I have Kojima <laughs> on my team base. That's what happens when you do the save day and shit, right? Like if you saved him. You oh, save them okay. in a you can you save them in, you can save them in a certain mission inside uh, Metal Gear Solid Five and yeah he, whatever <laughs> yeah I haven't done that wrestling I'm, yeah sorry <laughs> sorry wrestling but to be fair when I signed on for this you said we could talk about video games sometimes I was playing Orcarina at time Legend Zelda <laughs> 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 well uh, you know 3ds and stuff yeah yeah I picked up I picked up Persona Q and Zelda for now or grand time would it so yeah just just a question when do nope. you think they're gonna start putting old Metal Gear games into the Fox engine because it sounds like that's going to piss everybody off and I can't wait I would buy it <laughs> I honestly it's one of those things I would buy it because I haven't played them yet you know what I mean yeah, yeah actually yeah the interesting thing about going backwards through the games, depending on, because I've tried this with some other games before, right? We're going to also see how far <laughs> through the series I make it backwards. Because a lot of the complaints about Metal Gear Solid 5 don't apply to me because I haven't played the other games. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Fucking no. The pre-show match for Damn Backlash. Did you want to start there? 
Takeover. Oh, you want to start Our a Takeover? Backlash. I don't know. We can hit with Takeover. <laughs> I don't know. It's your fucking show. I got two lists. Which one do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was the manager or something. Oh, okay, earlier, right? All right, folks. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're, we're reviewing Backlash. Stay tuned <laughs> for NXT Takeover because we'll Maybe. we'll also do that, that too. Do so it. there was. Did you watch the pre-show match? Fuck no. I did not either. Oh, you didn't hear that? Yeah. In case you were wondering, <laughs> Ty Dillon died. Bleh, botch. Ty Dillinger defeated. Aiden English in eight minutes and 20 seconds. Okay. On with the Sweet. show. <laughs> okay. But I never watched no fucking pre-shows. Too much wrestling as it is. Fuck. Yeah. Too much WWE wrestling. Well, yeah, I'm always working on the weekends. I think that's what weekends. happened, too, to be honest with you, because I, I start thinking about it. I watched all of WrestleMania. You know what I mean? I watched the <laughs> pre-show. I watched oh, the whole that show. Work most of the day. I watched the... Uh, the NXT TakeOver, I watched the follow-up, Raw and SmackDown, and I think it was after that I decided, I need a break. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every other sport has an off-season. Johnny Wrestling's not a sport. Fuck you. Okay. Johnny Wrestling? You mean Johnny, Gar Johnny Gargano? <laughs> 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 so, uh, so I'm going to kind of rely on you here. I I'd like to know... If you don't mind telling me just a bit of the build up to the opening match of Shinsuke Nakamura versus Dolph Ziggler. Because this didn't they say the announcers say that this was Shinsuke's in in ring debut? Like has he literally yeah. just been coming out for two months and yeah, going, basically. going <laughs> I am the king of strong style and I'll show you one day. Is and that, yeah, Dolph's like, happening? oh, you ain't shit. And yeah, basically, yeah. It has been two months. It's been like a month. Because yeah, I think he debuted you like three weeks ago or some shit. Or came out on SmackDown. But yeah, nah, he did not. He That was his first match on SmackDown. Or for the brand. For the main roster. There you go. Because yeah. <coughs> yeah, his last match would have been against Bobby Roode, I think. Our last what? televised one. <laughs> be, okay. Um, I think the last televised one was it. It seemed like a good match from what I saw. It was the wrong match. It should have been Shinsuke killing Dolph Ziggler the whole time because you got this fucking King of Straw style coming up and he's fucking, you know, you need to show him off, right? Yeah, but to be fair. It was a more traditional style match where, like, the heel Dolph Ziggler was taking control some, then he come back. It was still a good match, but it should have been a little bit different. Well, I mean, to be fair, we've seen Dolph Ziggler die already. Yeah, but he needs to die by the hand, the feet you know, of Shinsuke. Um, <laughs> the knees of Shinsuke. I love how he goes heel by putting on USA shiny pants. <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I enjoyed the fuck out of that. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to his pants. It, uh, it just caught my <laughs> eye for a split second. I'm like, huh, USA pants. But, I mean, uh, WWE on SmackDown in general seems to be playing up the uh, USA versus the world uh, storyline. But we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. <laughs> we'll come back to that, yeah. yeah. It was a good match, but I, I, I rather seen, seen, I rather have seen Shinsuke dominate. Yeah, put it that way. <laughs> All these, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, he's came up so fucking strong on the fucking, you know, NXT and as well, and motherfucker can go like a bastard, so. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. that that's the thing, right? Like, I mean, uh, how's the storyline going? Like, is this going to be, like, are there going to be more of these? Are these two done? Nah. Uh, the start. <laughs> fuck if I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Storylines? Who cares? Sell t-shirts. Hey, I haven't watched every SmackDown either, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> or at least it's been on in the background. I hope they're done. He needs to move on to bigger and better things because feud with Dolph Ziggler ain't gonna do it. Fuck, he's been well, your world uh, yeah, champion. I, on mean, his. <laughs> I mean, Ziggler's buried. I mean, Ziggler's yeah. kind of getting the China treatment, isn't he? He's dead. No. No, I mean, like, how <laughs> everybody loved China until Triple H started dating someone else. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. So what you're saying is Triple H needs to start fucking Dolph again. Yeah. So just, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, because I, I was reading this article <laughs> on BuzzFeed that casual gay <laughs> sex between uh, a couple of dudes uh, is 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 all the rage right now. What? It's uh, and it doesn't mean you're gay. It just means you like gay sex sometimes, um, which I understand to be. Uh, I believe the term for that is bisexual, but um, <laughs> but I mean Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed also thinks that a bunch of dudes are gonna wear some kind of uh, um, like coveralls, but they're shorts. What what is it? A romp him? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not romping no dude. Romp him. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with that, but I, I don't know. They they try and make it trendy in a way that it's not. Why I don't are know, you man. reading BuzzFeed? I'm, I, that, was, that was a joke. <laughs> yeah. I, know, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody by now knows I hate BuzzFeed. They're the only channel I'm subscribed to on YouTube. I yeah. unsubscribe from everything else. Just, just BuzzFeed. <laughs> Yeah. Just I only no and, and watch Mojo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, BuzzFeed, watch Mojo. Um and PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Spoilers. I am subscribed <sighs> to one of those three. Leave in the comment section below which one you think it is. Is Johnny Buzz subscribed feed. to A BuzzFeed, <laughs> B Watch Mojo, or C PewDiePie? <laughs> My name's Jeff. But uh you gonna you gonna make it over there? Yes. Yes. <laughs> did you take your alpha brain this morning? No, I'm drinking water. Because I did. Hashtag not an ad. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored. <laughs> no. Yet. No, I had like a quarter of a cup of coffee and I'm drinking water. Yeah, that's all I've done. Yeah, I got my water on. I. It's funny. Uh, I had a we had a birthday party for Honey, right? And uh, <laughs> I got a kick out of this fucking. Uh, <laughs> it, it was funny because everybody's like, man, you're losing weight. You're doing good. You look so healthy. I'm like, I'm not They're like, well, how are you losing weight? I'm like, I'm not eating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, not... <laughs> that's Go what ahead. I'm doing. That's the secret, folks. Stop eating. I, <laughs> I cut myself down to <laughs> one meal a day. It's only a medium-sized meal a day and one drink a day that's not water. And the pounds just fly off, folks. <laughs> and so do everything else. <laughs> yeah, I just I try and eat enough so that people can't call me anorexic. But, I mean, losing weight is easy, folks. Being healthy is hard, but losing weight is easy. Stop no, see, eating. I'm trying, to do, I'm trying to do the healthy part and see, like, muscles and stuff More i keep muscles saying i'm gonna like grab the weights and throw them around you know i've been not... doing something every day every day i've been doing something at least i i jerk <laughs> off like every second day so that only that only hurts one arm though unless you're like at a time strangers on... <laughs> unless you're pulling the strangers on yourself <laughs> yeah no no i uh i i you rotate do, you know you do hey, know the strangers right i do like 10 reps with one arm 10 reps with the other arm and go back and forth See, like, what you're, 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 uh, what, you're right handed, left handed. What are you? Yes. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm right handed. Well, it's funny. It's funny. This is the most Canadian thing I'm going to say on this podcast. I'm right handed, <laughs> but I shoot left. You probably in, in probably hockey. Horrible. Yeah, I called it the puck. That is. I also golf left, but I, I don't know. I go out on the golf course sometimes. <laughs> I don't think you can call what i do golfing i'm vaping with my left right now if that's <laughs> the that accounts i'm that's only because my that's only, my right. on, if you actually look at my hand i'm vaping my left right now that's only because the lighter's in my right hand all but right why folks, do you have a uh, are you looking at his hand because i'm not i said the the people can see it maybe not you but i we got you know we, we do have live video going out to everybody's mind yes like, yeah, we're plugged into the system yeah, nano machines. I bought a 32 gig SD card this morning for the 3DS. Let's figure out throw that out there. I slept in, but uh, 
It was funny, folks. Last night, we uh, we kind of came up with a rough time that we were going to... And whenever we mention a time, it's always rough, right? Very. We're, we're not, like, sitting there going, like, uh, it's 11.02. Where the like, fuck are, the are fuck you? Fuck are you? Right? <laughs> but I... Fuck it. I've called it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just run away. We, we kind of decided on 11 your time, and I kind of <laughs> woke up at 10.56 your time. And I and I check Snapchat. I'm like, oh, he's not yelling at me. I'm good. And I just kind of putzed around the house for a half hour. And then I'm like, hey, is he waiting on me? So I let you know what's up. No, I was actually, I just picked up my phone and I was about to snap you. And it said, you got to snap 15 seconds ago. I was like, huh, oh, good timing. That's that psychic link shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, I got <laughs> Yeah, bro. I got back like at 10 30 or some shit. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Hell. All right. Wrestling. Um, <laughs> that's the second time we went off on something else. Yeah, that's, that's cool. And we've that's only made one here. match. Are Just you one match. Listen to anybody talk about I wasn't wrestling. Two matches. Just right? One match. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Next match The Usos um, versus. Breezango. And, uh, you know, this is about the time I started playing my 3DS. I don't know. I, I, thought <laughs> it, I don't hate what Breezango is doing. Not even got to, you know, be funny and shit like that. Well, I mean, whatever, they're, you know. they're never going to. I mean, if you're going to be a job or tag team. You might as well be a gay job or tech. You, you might as well like go for it though, right? Like you might, you yeah, might yeah, you gotta nah, stand out somehow, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. plus, if they ever let those two go, like they have talent. I mean, they might not be the best hands you have, but they can keep up with and shine people up real nice, you know. No, Tyler Breeze had very much promise on NXT. Got to the main roster, look where he's at. But that's a lot of the NSTs came up. Like, they had so much promise. Like, you know. Well, I mean, but to be fair, in NXT, they were top guys and pushed as top guys. Yeah. In the main roster, they are fed to top guys. Yeah, pretty fucking much. Yeah. So. This is why Shinsuke doesn't have a costume change in the middle of this match. That's what it. Yeah, yeah. He he, he was a he was a, he was a janitor, and then he turned into dead, yeah, dead. Um, what, what did JBL say? Dead. Uh, what's what's that girl's name? Who's had the hand? Oh, by the way, uh, hashtag oh, fuck JBL. Okay, May yeah. Young. Yeah, J- JBL said, "Oh, look, did did uh, May Young rise from the grave or some shit like that? For real?" <laughs> it's like, yeah, no. You know, the more Jesus, I listen to dude. JBL on announcing, and you know. He's the reason Morrow's gone. Fuck JBL. Just saying. Fuck JBL. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. Yeah. Fuck JBL. Tag and team you, white yeah. trash in that. All you got to do is tweet to JBL that I like Moro or Moro's cool or some shit. Just something positive about Moro. Yeah, yeah, to do yeah. Tell really him good. how cool Moro. Because Moro. He's going to block you. He's going to just block you. No, that's yeah. what he's going to do. He's just block you. you Moro say was the best announcer they've had since JR. And he's gone because... What, did JBL, like, take a shit in his bag or fucking steal his passport, or is that other shit that's happened? <laughs> He's been known to do things. He, um, They just basically, what the internet and everybody's just saying, just bullying, but that could mean anything. Yeah. Just comments he makes or what the fuck ever. Well, because I've, I've heard a few podcasts with Moral, and he doesn't sound sensitive. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, like, he's got depression, he has like the, a lot of people yeah, he has do issues. shit like that, yeah. but he doesn't seem overly sensitive. Like, like if he says he's getting picked on, I, I would say more than, it's more than somebody uh, telling him they don't like his haircut. You know what I mean? <laughs> so anyway, oh, yeah. um, oh, did we say Shinsuke won? I mean, maybe, maybe people won. listen to this instead of watching <laughs> the pay-per-views sure. and we should at least tell them who won. Yeah, kind of like people one. who listen to podcasts about video games they don't play. Anyway. Ken, Ken uh, <laughs> Yes. Uh, the Usos won because, of course, they did. Um, yeah, yeah. No, of so course. The, oh, the Usos reasoning. are the tag team champs right now. 
<laughs> I didn't yeah. even know that. That was that was a tag team title match, <laughs> wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then you think, well, how the fuck did they get a tag team title match? Because the tag team fucking division sucks. There ain't a lot of good tag teams. Whoa. Are no, enough enough tag teams. There's only like three or four or five tag it, teams, it, really. It doesn't really seem like there was enough to split they between are. the two brands. Exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. 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 Or yeah. there are a bunch of good tag teams that they don't utilize. Um, is the, is the revival up on the main roster I think I saw? No. They're yeah. not? He, no, he came, they came up, but he got injured, so they oh, haven't been there. Oh, fuck. Yeah, um, or something like that. One of them is injured right now, regardless. What so. about uh, Champa? Isn't he a tag team uh, right now? <laughs> not no more. <laughs> okay, we'll have to talk about that. I, I've liked <laughs> Champa since, uh, and, I, and I know I'm sounding wrestler hipster, but let's face it, that's what kind of fans we are, folks. I've been watching Champa's. No, I loved him since Ring of Honor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. By the way, a few guys I hope never come over to WWE because their gimmick just won't work. A, the Briscoes. I've said that before. And B, Silas Young. All right. Yeah. Oh, I fucking <laughs> love that guy. Yeah. Like, he has the, the vignettes of, of, you know, his, his whole gimmick is he's a real man. <laughs> he's a man's man, like really unregal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because it's like total <laughs> heel. And he'll have these vignettes. My nephew said, was sitting in front of his computer and said he was being cyber bullied. So I hit him in the face with the keyboard and said, now you've been real bullied. <laughs> is that a real promo by him? Yes. Please tell me it is. Like, yes. <laughs> also, what the like, fuck? So, like, like, he was the hometown <laughs> hero. And I have never heard anybody turn the hometown crowd as fast as he did. I can't remember what, like, I just have some vague memories of him. But Silas Young, <laughs> Ring of Honor, y'all should be paying attention to him because he's, like, part of the reason to watch that. I mean, of course, you got your your mainstays over there. Your Adam Coles and your... Uh... <coughs> he's not there no more. What are you talking about? Do you even watch Ring of Honor? No, no. See? No, I don't. Oh, <laughs> I don't watch yeah. wrestling. <laughs> no, actually, um, the he the young bucks kicked him out of the 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 elite or whatever you want to call them. The, the, the super, the super click, the super click is what they were calling them three cells basically. But yeah, Bullet Club. Uh, Marty Scurll is not one of them, and he got his farewell from Ring of Honor. Supposedly, the rumor is Adam Cole's coming to WWE or NXT. I mean, he'll do so, good there. If if they let him run as a heel, because, I mean, he is dastardly. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, like, I love the guy, and I might have to slap him if I see him. Like, he... <laughs> I Well, not, not really, folks, but, like, he... He's that, he's that kind of heel that it's like, ooh, that's, that's too far. That's past the line. And he yeah. keeps going. Like, you but know yeah, what I mean? He even, he even gets heat from the smart marks, right? You know? Okay. <laughs> so, yes, the Usos won. The next match. Let's put it this. Well, he'll he'll oh. do good in NST, but when they move him to the main roster is where he'll get lost in the shuffle, just like everybody else, probably. Well, but, I yeah. mean, <laughs> when... It's one of those things, okay? Here, like, look at Roman Reigns, okay? I don't want to. But just listen. Roman Reigns, <laughs> in and of himself, he's not a bad hand. Um, he did good. He's a good hand. He's, he's getting better. Hand. His matches, in and of themselves, aren't bad uh, <laughs> on a mechanic level. You know, huh. yeah. um, not perfect yet. Still, still has some room to improve. But it's weird because the Shield was selling T-shirts. Vince thinks that Roman was the reason they were selling the T-shirts. So Roman gets a push which causes t-shirt sales t-shirt sales causes a push and like it's just this cycle you know i mean as far as i could tell the best way to get the wrestlers over that you like is buy as many of their t-shirts as you can it seems like those two things 
Merch this is why general. I bought me a Stone Cold shirt about two years ago. I'm trying to push you. And then he got the cover <laughs> of the newest wrestling game. Like, that was you. That was all See, you exactly. that did that. Exactly. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Next match was when I saw this match coming up, because uh, I... I can, I kind of okay. Time for time for Johnny to break kayfabe here. Um, <laughs> I did not watch the pay per view. I watched a highlight reel <laughs> because I was going to watch the pay per view this morning. Because the time we were going to record, I usually wake up three hours before that, even without an alarm, except for today. <laughs> you know, because yeah. you were you know as soon as you count you on waking it. up early, you don't right. <clears throat> yeah. So. I, I watched a highlight reel while I was uh, waiting for you to not talk to me. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? I was like, don't snap me yet. I'm watching the highlights. So I watched the highlights of Backlash and TakeOver. And I saw Sami Zayn come out. I'm like, awesome. Who's he fighting? Because I love Sami Zayn. Your and, favorite wrestler. And then I'm like, basic white bitch. Let me tell you. Baron Corbin, okay? I know for a fact drinks pumpkin spiced lattes listens to bohemian be. rhapsody and has pineapple on his pizza because he is a basic white bitch and everybody knows that's the basic white bitch starter kit by the way anybody who's about to freak out about pineapple on pizza has clearly never been the fat kid at the party when you go up and everybody's like i love hawaiian pizza how come that's the only fucking pizza that's left then huh huh okay carry on I put peaches on pizza. You know, I'm not even surprised. <laughs> yes. No, nah, no. Nah, I, I, like, I don't know if you're joking or not, but honestly, it wouldn't surprise me either way. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. No, if I'm going to eat, which I, might I even haven't try ate, it. Yeah, just get high enough. Fuck, yeah. I think they taste good. I, mean, but I'm, I'm not, I don't really like pineapples. As far as my pizza, of course, I haven't ate pizza in a long time because, you know, healthy shit, right? Right. But if I was going to get a pizza, I'd be like, you know, meat on top of meat on top of meat, you know, some cheese and shit, you know? <laughs> Maybe some peppers. No, just meat yeah. <laughs> and cheese. <laughs> I know. So, sometimes I get a vegetable on a pizza. It's usually a jalapeno. Yeah. Well, I can see that, you know, a little spice or something, you know, so, but uh, to me, that's a texture thing. I just don't like texture that shit. No, my flavor, but yeah. But no, I just want fucking like a triple meat pizza. Yeah, Again, I yeah. haven't had one in a long time. I don't I, need I one. I should I'm rephrase. Good. I don't hate fruit on pizza. I hate pineapple on pizza. But I also but hate pineapple not fucking... on pizza. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I make a, a juice now called pine water. I am. Um, I'm vaping <laughs> on one right now called Sucker Punch. It's a. Uh, it's pineapple and watermelon. It's. Uh, <laughs> it's like a. I can't tell if it's a cotton candy or a bubble gum, but it's it's like it's it's like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm still based in my normal <laughs> because shit that stupid I love. fucking Canadian customs. Clearly, they listen to the show and they're on to us now. But anyway, <laughs> but the best news about this match: Sami Zayn defeated basic white bitch. Your thoughts on the match? Zelda was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just I like said your thoughts on Zelda. <laughs> it's like the three D, the three D sliders straight. Like I, I, again, I, I again, I, it being a new toy, I, 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 was, I was playing with it a lot during the pay per view. I don't know if that goes to show you that some of the matches just didn't care for blah blah. blah. Now there are like you know the, I think the next match that comes up, I watched it for me. I think I think it's the next match. <laughs> But hey. I was surprised that they let Sammy win, put it that way. I was too. He loses everything. And then you got, you know, one of the best wrestlers in the world, Baron Corbin. Um, he must be selling a lot of shirts. <laughs> a lot of wolf shirts. I think I think Baron I like Corbin wolf. BC stands for basic cunt. <laughs> Which is and I gotta admit, folks, I, I haven't have a, I haven't hated him forever. I had to say I had the suspicion that you don't like this guy. I <laughs> and it, it's not no it is him it is him um <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. but i liked i liked what they did with him in nxt that made sense you know when the crowd was actually timing the match and then bull dempsey was kind of doing the same thing and they faced off i enjoyed that <coughs> but 
Oh, my God. Fuck Baron Corbin. <laughs> okay, you might have to help me out on this one. Um, the next match <sighs> is Natalia Carmella. Oh, wait, no, I, I, no, never mind. This wasn't the match. <laughs> and Tamina, known as the Welcoming Committee. What the fuck is that? When Charlotte came over, they welcomed her to SmackDown. There you go. Right, but, <laughs> but the welcoming committee versus Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, and Naomi? Is it, isn't all, Naomi the uh, women's champion? Yeah, they're all, yeah, 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 they're all faces. Charlotte's a face on SmackDown. If you <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, the welcoming committee is the heels in this in this situation. Oh my they god. They beat her up. They like they like attacked her like when she first made her debut on SmackDown or some shit like that, right? I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see Tamina back. Ah. You know? <laughs> uh yeah. I heart Carmella and I heart Natalia. We all know this. Um <laughs> Natalia, I feel, is the most, what's the term? Um, I'm the most sympathetic for because those storylines stole. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. 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 Anyway, yeah. Uh, it looked like there was a couple cool things happening, but Becky Lynch taps out in the middle of the ring. With uh, her hairdo. I, I didn't hate it. Oh, no, no, not at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, okay. Yeah, exactly. I was still fucking... <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's the main theme of Backlash. A 3DS was cool. <laughs> New Nintendo 3DS at sale. All right, but I bet you watch the next one. Yeah, I Kevin did. Owens versus oh. <laughs> AJ Styles. Definitely watch this one. Yeah, because come on now. Fucking oh, yeah. KO and AJ. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, um, that that that's your match of the night right there. But of course, it's gonna be the match of the night. It's fucking AJ and Kevin Owens. You know, like two fuckers can go. Is this their <laughs> first time? Uh, on WWE. Oh, yeah, I, I should say that their first time on WWE. We all know it's not their <laughs> first time. I think so. Definitely their first time, like going on one on one since you know the SmackDown roster change. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I no, I well, they did. Well, no, I, um, Kevin Owens threw out AJ Styles in the Royal Rumble. I think that's actually their only really like, early encounter when AJ made his debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other, but, and, I mean, and then they never followed up on that. This is their first singles match, then. though. I think so. I think so. Right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, fucking, of course, these two far as ago, fucking the way it ended, you know, it it, it, it makes sense. It fucking like you know. Fucking face of fucking, I say fuck a lot though. Now. The face fuck of America <laughs> getting old, uh, you know, him stuck in the fucking table or whatnot, getting counted out. He still retains the title regardless. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, two fuck, they can go, man. Oh, yeah. Like, and you, like, and they, and they can, ahead. they can just hold the crowd in their hand, both of them. So, yeah. Well, the crowd already loves fucking both of them. Regardless, like, even if KO is a fucking heel, like, everybody still loves him because he is fucking good and he's good on the mic and all this other shit. I know, and, and you're like, you boo him, but, like, you like to boo him. <laughs> I don't boo him. Fuck. <laughs> I know, right? Like, oh, well, I mean, I kind of, I, I would boo him if I was live because, you know, you know, you don't, you don't cheer for the heel, you boo him. If you cheer for a heel, Vince is going to be like, oh, he's not a very good <laughs> heel, is he? <laughs> Although I did listen to Stone Cold's podcast with uh by the way folks I have to apologize um we already talked about the last pay-per-view review uh how that was my fault it didn't happen and uh that was the episode Stone Cold Steve Austin was going to be on uh um, Yeah <laughs> I don't I don't know if we can get him back now so uh I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking hell. But yeah, it, it, it's good. It's not, there's not really much to say about it. Like, you know, they're going to be fucking good. They're basically, yeah, it is what it is, right? <laughs> yeah, no, no. There's yeah, lots of yeah. good shit in that match, it looked like. Yeah, yeah, they're going to fucking do off. 
21 minutes, 10 seconds it was. Yeah. Longest. That's probably, I think it's the long, longest match of the night. Feels like it. Oh, yeah, 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 it was. Uh, Next yeah, match. Right. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to spend some more time on that. It's one of those nah. matches that it's very good to watch, but kind of hard to talk about. Cause it's it's like, just a bunch of fucking hot spots, like yeah. the normal moves they all pull off. If like Cameron yeah. Owens doing good moves, cannonballs, like it's, you know. Well, I, if, I noticed if, there was a lot of, uh, it seemed like there was a lot of reversals, not reversals, but dodging and shit that, that worked really well, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, Does everyone imagine that you can go back and, you know, watch? Yeah. But, um, it should have done. <laughs> it, it is. It's, I mean, the only way you can really talk about this match is, did you see that pop up power bomb? That was cool. <laughs> did did, did you see that phenomenal forearm? That was cool. <laughs> like, was the yeah, he did one from the guardrail outside. Hit him with yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, the next cool, match. <laughs> fucking hell. Luke Harper. Versus <laughs> Eric Rowan. Um, I like, I like these guys better together than I, than they do apart. I think Aaron Ro Eric Rowan, I remember, I loved what they were doing with his character and they decided not to do like when his interview with Renee, Ro <laughs> with Renee Ambrose was, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, Ambrose ain't his real name, right? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> yeah, no, John Cena, but, uh. <laughs> It's Jonathan something, I think. Yeah. Oh, I forget. But anyway, um, fuck, where was that? Anyway, there was like this old interview, right? When um, they were putting him over as an intellectual and he owns a wine thing. <laughs> like they're saying this about him in the ring. And then he just <laughs> takes off his mask while he's staring at Renee Young, right? And she like asks him a question holding the mic. He just looks at her. Pretty. And why? And I'm like, yes! Like, no, they they were playing him up like it was. I don't know, man. I think they dropped the ball with him like they did with everybody else. But uh, Luke Harper wise. goes over. Yeah, I didn't really, you know, DS. <laughs> did he do the Gator roll? I really, I don't, I don't think I saw any of this match. Well, that was it. That was. It's the most was, useless <laughs> move ever, but for some reason, I enjoy the fuck out of the gator roll. And the, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know? Fucking yeah. Love it! But and yeah, I, I didn't, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, it's like, like I said, it's a current theme with this pay-per-view for me. Well, I mean. I had a new toy. <laughs> again, right? Uh. Oh, no, yeah. The whole reason I brought up Stone Cold is I did listen to Shane McMahon's podcast with him. And uh, it seems like Vince is a little hands-off with SmackDown. I think I listened to part of that one. But anyway. Oh, no. Now, I folks. A few podcasts last week. It's time for your main event. <laughs> now. Help me out here. I've not, I just said I haven't really watched much since WrestleMania. <laughs> you haven't missed much. Now, in <laughs> WrestleMania, Jinder Mahal was the last one eliminated from the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal because. By Mojo Rally. <laughs> by Mojo Rally. And, and that guy from the Patriots. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, Jinder Mahal's a made guy now. <laughs> Anything you want, you can have. Like I'm, I'm not even like disagreeing with it. You know he what just I mean? like he. I think there was there was a battle royal to determine the number one contender. Uh, like two three weeks ago, and yeah, but he has he security now. <laughs> Them two guys are sing and sing it. security. They're from uh, the cruiserweight. Yeah, obviously, look how small they are. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, they were they were over there doing that, like in the cruiserweight classic and whatnot. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I have to laugh because it, according to this, it's not J and J security now. It's Sing and Sing. Well, they don't have it. They don't have it listed as Sing Sing security, but it's <laughs> the Bollywood Boys. Yeah, they're the Bollywood Boys. They were a tag team, and they were in the cruiserweight classic. 
Okay. Yeah, cruiserweights. Um, so, so first, uh, just, first I think we got to talk about the snap you sent me because that didn't make the highlight reel that I watched. Yeah, yeah, because I was a fucking botch. <laughs> like, oh, Jesus. And, and <laughs> Orton, 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 <laughs> Kefe, bro. Kefe, bro. <laughs> You can't have the cartoony, <laughs> did I do that face? <laughs> Fuck, yeah, I know. <laughs> that was pretty intentional, because when he brought him up, he just kind of let him go. Like, it, you could have let him let him down more, and, you know, it, 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 no, nah, he fucked that guy up. Yeah. And, and that and wasn't like, even the end of it, right? They still took, you know, like, the DD, the Orton DDT and shit like that. Yeah, blah, blah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I just had to laugh. The look on his face was like, that wasn't <laughs> supposed to happen. <laughs> He's like, yeah, fuck, kind of laughing. It's like, fuck, fuck yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. Somebody owes him a receipt. But, uh, yeah, I was kind of half ass watching this match, you know, <sighs> here and there, shit like that, watching it. Just because, you know, Randy Orton, Boren, Jinder Mahal, who, the dude from Three Man, One Man Band, Three Man Band, yeah, whatever. Hey, man, to be fair. Three man band, I don't think got as much credit as they deserved. They're all back around. So yeah. think about this. He yes! could be the champ- think about this. He could be the champion for SmackDown. Yes. Uh Slater could be the world champion on Raw after he beats up Roth Lesnar. Totally. <laughs> and Drew McIntyre could be the NXT champion here soon after he takes out Bobby Roode. What up? They just three man band runs the world. Man! <laughs> that can technically happen. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. They're all going to end up in the ring at the same time. Eventually. They have to. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So now maybe you want to explain this to me. <laughs> I don't think I can. Um, Jinder but Mahal. I can't explain it to you. Go ahead. Jinder Mahal released from the WWE because he was a jobber. Okay. Yeah. Now he, now he brought comes back. back on SmackDown, like did Shane, <laughs> did Shane just make Jinder Mahal the champ to uh, fuck with his dad? No, they made him the champ to score that audience of 1.8 billion people in India. It's yes, well, I money. mean, he does talk to them in their his people in his language. Yeah. So this is gonna be big media in India, India like a motherfucker. I like imagine like it's massive media going on right now. That's gonna bring in revenue, blah blah, more audience. So yeah, that's what that's for. I don't see him really holding the title too fucking long. Well, nobody does. Fuck up. <laughs> it's like he will hold the title for the, the longest reigning champion. Ever. I mean, I think the best way to hold the belt is to, the way Lesnar do it. Win, win the belt, and don't come back. Yeah, but technically, by you know wrestling rules, if you don't defend it in thirty days, right, you're supposed to relinquish it. Okay, okay. And shit, right? are you gonna walk up to Brock Lesnar and say that's my belt now? No, you are. You live closer <laughs> to him. That belt's <laughs> mine's now. <laughs> Actually, uh, guys, and I, I know I've mentioned this, this on the podcast before, but I'll mention it again. He does occasionally get spotted in the Medicine Hat Walmart, <laughs> and from what I've heard is uh and i've had to translate some of this because some people are whiny apparently he's very good at chatting with people when they recognize him like he's gracious and he's nice and all that but when they ask for a picture he's very i don't look guys like this is my time off i don't i i moved here so people wouldn't know where i am cool well we you don't have to ask for a picture just ask him to come on the podcast yeah yeah. Can I, I hear what Sam. He can, yeah, yeah, sure. Can I just get you can I just get you to say who the fuck is Johnny White Trash? <laughs> Welcome to Beyond the Gimmick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, um so yeah. Uh yeah, J- Jinder he's, he's Mahal. Yeah. He had the he it, he they pulled the trigger fast. If they wanted to push him, they should have waited more so to show off his talent because they never he's never really had a chance to really do all these matches and get showed off, right? He get he gives Finn Balor a concussion on Raw and on this and on a match like what about a month and a half ago, gets over to SmackDown, has a few matches, now he's the world champion. Seems makes huh. sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
But, but I no, mean, if he had if he had more time to steam and show off more matches, show off more of a teal thing instead of just kind of doing all of this within a month, like are you are you trying to say that his run is <clears throat> in vain? No, I was going to say it's glorious in lots <laughs> of in lots of exposed pulsating veins. <laughs> Back knee, you say right? No, every time I look at him, I'm like, holy fuck, he's got, like, garden hoses under his chest. <laughs> yeah, like, he's got back knee and all this shit, too, and that's a common sign of steroids, that body shape type. Oh, he's not on steroids. He's on natural growth hormone. Gr- natural <laughs> growth hormones. <laughs> natural garth hormones? I don't fucking Garth. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever. Backlash, it happened. It was a thing. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 So, so you wanted to talk. We watched kind of NXT takeover Chicago yeah. and yeah. folks, the surprise appearance by CM Punk was phenomenal. That was Hideo Itami. Not, yeah. Uh, I oh. know they do the same move, but they're not the same. Guy. I don't care what you say. <laughs> One's the, the best GTS. <laughs> was by Ryback <laughs> in Chicago. Oh, yeah. I want to see Big Show do one. But no, like, like seriously, like that, oh, fuck, I love that. <laughs> you know, when, you know, CM Punk oh, oh, just yeah. totally shit talks you, Chicago hates you, and you come out and you start doing CM Punk moves and CM Punk antics, I'm like, yeah, you like got it. Yeah, bulldog and shit. You yeah. got it. <laughs> That was great. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take um, over. First match. First, I was just kind of getting in for work. I was half-assed watching it. But, yeah, that was uh, Roddy and Eric Young. Storyline, I don't really know much storyline because I don't really keep up with NHT as much as I should because you get too much wrestling as it is to fucking Well, watch. I know, right? Like, like. But I do watch every takeover. I, w- I would honestly, I think I could fit NXT into my life. Like, just NXT. You can watch <laughs> Raw and SmackDown. Hold up. No, you're supposed to be watching SmackDown. Okay, fine. Dude. I'll start watching See, SmackDown. Dude, that's supposed to be watching Raw. I don't have all that shit. Okay, okay. So, so yeah. Them two guys. Like, Roderick, that was kind of happy. Roderick, the bat. Roderick what? Strong versus the Eric world. Young. Oh, yeah, um, emo Eric Young and the Emo Kids. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I and I'm not uh, saying that because I hate it. Like that just seems like what it sanity, is. Sanity, I think, or something. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. For what I could, what I did see, I mean, it was a decent match. You know, the boat can still go. Eric can fucking go. Yeah, so yeah, but it was a starter match again. I was getting it from work, so kind of yeah, yeah, whatever. So uh, yeah. Roderick Strong went over. 13 yes. minutes yeah. forty two seconds for those of you playing the home game. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> This match number two. Yeah, I don't know what, what was what was the second match. Pete Dunn. Oh yeah. Versus <laughs> Tyler Bate. Fucking old thick thighs over there. Jesus. That motherfucker got some muscles in his upper legs. Upper legs. <laughs> yeah, you see, if you look Thunder at Tyler thighs! Bate, <laughs> fucking hell. It was. It, that's the. That's the best match of the weekend. The, for two guys I don't really know nothing about and have been keeping up with and just fucking watching them go, these fuckers went the fuck at it. Like, strong style and everything, pulling out all kind of crazy shit, you know, and yeah. In the end, Tyler... No, in the end, yeah, Pete won the fucking match. Which, if you watch the UK Championship, you can tell they, they was, like, kind of going for Pete because he kept being shown and doing his thing, but then did the heel thing at the end and, you know, attacked people with swinging hands, so... Pete should be on the main roster. He's yeah. He'll <laughs> act he'll tactics antics and shit, you know? Yeah. 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 Good shit though. Good shit. Best match of the weekend. Next match. <laughs> I love how the UK title too. I think it's how it said to Steve was like one of the better looking titles just because it stands out. Like even all the NXT titles you, went to the same fucking design. You don't like how all the other belts are the W <laughs> with different colored straps. 
are they in X thing now? Because even the women's title on NXT looks exactly the same as the world title now, right? Well, yeah. I think you get a discount if you order them in bulk. But uh, well, they they had to do something with that last NXT women's title at the well, Brad Maddox, Maddox got a hold of it. Why? 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 I, to be fair, <laughs> Brad Maddox did not get a hold of the title. He got a hold of himself. <laughs> his potential kids did. I don't know. I don't know if he was using his left hand or his right hand. <laughs> We talked about this. What's the deal with Paige again? She's injured. Yeah. Air quotes injured. She had a neck injury and she had neck surgery months back. And she's also, you know, oh, I see uh, (laughs) married to Del Rio. And she also had a porn tape come out. (laughs) So they can't fire her because it would look super bad regardless. So apparently. CageSideSeats.com says WWE would reportedly be done with Paige already if not for upcoming biopic. I don't know. Yeah, is it same. biopic or is it biopic? Because I see two distinct words in there. Biopic. You know, it's by, bi- you know, a biography it's picture. A, biopic. A, but everybody's like, oh, biopic. I've never heard it say. I've never heard biopic. That sounds like fucking some nanobot shit that Kojima Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's a biopic. It's a biography. Wait, is it thingy. ocelot or liquid ocelot? It's fucking metal trees. Never be game over. <laughs> Actually, Snake. that was Snake. that was the big moment. Uh, spoilers for a two-year-old game. Uh, where where I really started like, okay, I I need to learn the backstory of this game because when I when I got the Nobody. little the little kid with the never be game over jacket, I'm like. That's something. There's a character who has that jacket, right? And then I'm like, okay, I got to learn this shit. By the way, folks, there is something called Metal Gear Solid the Movie, uh, which is a 12-hour video on YouTube. (laughs) And apparently, it's not even really a complete. No. You know what I mean? No. There's like 12 hours of cutscenes, just like in Metal Gear Solid 3 alone. Fuck. Well, yeah, like I, I, if, I've looked at some of the cutscene only. It videos, feels like it, right? Some of the cutscene only videos are are four to five hours for Metal Gear Solid. Um, yeah, all of them are at least four to five hours worth of cutscenes. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I will be getting Metal Gear Three DS. <laughs> Just, okay, yeah, so that's that's a, that's a thing. Here we go. The next match. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna read these the way they're written. Uh, you, you tell me after I'm done if I if I got them right. Asuka uh, <laughs> versus Rubai Raiut <laughs> versus Naikai <laughs> Crows. Did I get those right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck it, Elf. <laughs> Do you think you really? really? <laughs> <laughs> Not Kai. That's your wife's name. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Spelled a little differently, though. <laughs> um, that? Okay. No, for some reason, my brain is just fucking picking on me. And I'm <laughs> looking at her name. And I know it's Asuka. But when I'm staring at it, it looks like Asuka. And it's fucking with me right now. Right now. Yeah. Yes, Asuka yeah. versus Ruby Riot versus Nikki Cross. Triple threat for the NXT was, Women's Championship. Asuka. It was supposed to, it was supposed to be a fatal four way. Yeah, of course. Asuka retains. Asuka hasn't been defeated in like a year and a half. She has legitly has longer winning streak than Goldberg right now, as far as champion was. And Goldberg's streak was fake. They kept inflated away into the inflation away and flat uh and they kept raising the numbers. That's a porky pig moment right there. Keep raising the numbers on Goldberg Street every week. Like one week he'll be twenty three, next week he's like forty seven. And motherfucker, we know you didn't do that many house shows over the fucking week. Shut up. Dip, 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 dip. That's all, folks. <laughs> but yeah, Oscar's fucking undefeated. What's what's gonna happen is uh they signed a few more Shimmer Girls, which is basically where Oscar came from too, right? Like this fucking the. Uh, Doji, uh, fuck, uh, what's the, what's the, uh, whatever, yeah. But these girls, all these fucking chicks from over there are fucking 
badasses, you know, it, look, it just can go, got that strong style, whatnot. Related I forget, topic. Related I forget topic. that chick's name. Fuck. Go ahead. Um, are you... Nope. Do you watch Netflix? Do I chill, you mean? Yes. Am I going to watch Glow, the yes, series? That's, all of a sudden, <laughs> I realized with how long we've been talking, I've heard you watch WWE Network and YouTube videos. I don't know if I've ever heard you say, I watched blah, blah, blah on Netflix. That's because I don't watch it that often, but I do have a, well, I do have a password and username. Well, I, I think... <laughs> I, I, I use my sister's account, so it's yeah, still... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. when it comes out, I think we're like going to have it, to... I'm going to watch. I want to watch it. Now, what <laughs> do you, what it. you want to do? Do you want to watch all 10 episodes and then do a pod about it? Or do you want to do... No, nah, we'll do all 10 episodes. Yeah, because it ain't that long. Yeah. Because we're not, we're not going to do... 10 different podcasts no is that yeah. no no about that show no yeah. just, so yeah. uh, <laughs> we'll try and watch those as fast as we can comes out june 23rd folks and yeah and the, and it would all be out on the same day i'll say all episodes yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. i don't like like i watched the dave Chappelle shit when they released this fucking cat stand-up comedy on there i'll go in there watch magic school bus i love yeah, i'll go in there I love <laughs> i'll go in there dave Chappelle's routine <laughs> I went out and bought $25,000 of gum and fed it to the homeless so they could chew all night and still be hungry. <laughs> Dave Chappelle was mad at Detroit that night. <laughs> I fucking, I love that guy. Yeah. Anyway. Always a big fan of him. Well, fuck. So like Oscar retains. Of course Oscar retains. Whoop, Good whoop. match, what it is. It's supposed to be a fatal four-way, though. And by God, my point I was getting back to, one of them Shimmer girls is going to be one of the girls that ends Oscar's streak. A former rival of Oscars from a rival company. No, not a rival company, but a different company. That's my guessing. Okay. That's my theory. I trust you. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but um, uh, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Fatal Four Way. Um, Ember Moon was supposed to be in this match. She has a shoulder injury. She like, and, and they Oscar came out there like a week or prior to before uh, some a uh, uh, week or so before the fact. And, you know, everybody was, like, fighting, and uh, Ember got thrown outside and, like, caught her arm on the guardrail or whatever. Similar to Finn Balor, I guess you could say. You know, there's a so, lot of injuries for a fake sport, I'm just saying. Hey, scripted sport. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next match. Yeah, Dave, David Schultz might not like that, man. <laughs> Glorious. No, I will get... Okay, versus... That's right. The glorious. Go ahead. Say, 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 who's the say the glorious name Bobby Roode versus Hideo Itami. <laughs> Hideo Itami. I don't know why. It's like I know these people's <laughs> names, but for some reason, when I see them written out, it's like Itami. No, that's not it. <laughs> Itami. <laughs> Hideo Itami. Yeah. 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 Anyway, <laughs> yeah, or yeah, because he's originally 17 minutes, Kenta. 34 seconds. Bobby Roode retains the NXT championship. It now, was good. It did. Go is, did Hideo just get back? He well, oh, he got originally got back like you know a few months back or so, but he got injured again, and so he was kind of on the shelf, you know, because originally he had a shoulder injury. And yeah, if you look at his left shoulder and see a big cut, you know, on a big, big ass fucking scar, and like that happened not too long after he really got that he after he got into the NXT. Then when he did come back, yeah, apparently he got injured again. I think or some shit like that. All right. So yeah, he he, he hasn't had really had his chance to fucking shine like like they wanted him to shine on NXT because he was brought over to be a you know a, a star like fucking Shinsuke was basically you know strong style can fucking go kick a motherfucker's <laughs> face in you know. Yeah, the, the original, the originator of the go to sleep. Okay, now yeah, my next question: the last couple glorious Bobby Roode glorious matches we talked about. The ending. Okay, okay. you said that the yeah. reason the matches were good was because he was with Shinsuke. But Hideo is on the same level as Shinsuke. Didn't I just say that? Hold up. 
So <laughs> I basically say that. I know, I know, but I want. So what I'm saying is, what I want to, I want to ask the point blank question. What I'm getting at is, uh, Hideo and Shinsuke would be awesome against each other. <laughs> no respect for Bobby Roode is what you're saying. Got no respect. No, no respect. respect. <laughs> no, no, no. I do. No, he. No, I, I already said he's a good wrestler. He's just got a, a somewhat boring style. Like Randy Orton, he's a good worker. He's good, just boring. It's the same Randy Orton every time. But in this match, like there was some good shit, and like at the end too, like the whole reversals and all that, and it, like awesome, right? Honestly, yeah. I've said it before. I'll say it again. But the I, best thing about him is his music. Oh, I I bought into the Bobby Roode gimmick, full, full fucking force. The only thing that'll break it for me is if I ever catch him breaking kayfabe we're done because part of what I think makes this gimmick work so good is it seems like nobody bought into it. Like, like he bought into the glorious gimmick harder than Vin yeah. Diesel bought into the Dominic Toretto gimmick. Okay. Cause if you ever hear an interview with Vin Diesel, he thinks he is Dominic Toretto in real life. I'm just saying, by the way, how long until Fast and Furious can be explained by nano machines? I've only seen like the first three Fast and the Furious movies. Okay, here's what you got to do. And then I think Tokyo Drift came out. Was, Tokyo Drift yeah, was, was like, the third one. Okay, then no, I stopped at the second one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I want you. Nope. Oh fuck! I just I just want somebody to do this. I want somebody to watch <laughs> the first couple, first three even. <laughs> I want I want somebody to watch num if if now if not if I, sah, if somebody out there has never seen a single Fast and Furious movie, I want you to watch the first one and then the seventh one, right? And tell me <laughs> how you think we got there in between. <laughs> Nanobots, Kojima. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that Fast and the Furious Ten is actually Fast and Furious X Men. And it's a crossover. So we're gonna get like Fast and Furious twenty eight six. I love the uh, I love <laughs> the Japanese cars titles. take it over the world in his Transformers. Yeah, yeah, no, I love the Japanese titles for Fast and Furious. It's actually Japanese. Wild Speed. <laughs> so you got Wild Speed, you got Wild Speed X two, Wild Speed X three, Tokyo Drift. Then the fourth Wild one Speed, is... Wild Speed X2 sounds like a video game. I know. Well, I mean, <laughs> let's face it. Uh, toward, like, the second half of the series... Like, okay. If you watch the first one, and then you watch the eighth one, it makes total sense that we went from street racing to The Rock throwing a torpedo at a submarine. What? That happened. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Yeah, so when we go and do a rock retrospective and watch all of his movies. Fuck, I don't think we have time. <laughs> Actually, shit. Is there a podcast out there like that? I would listen to a podcast. <laughs> Maybe we should start that podcast. Yeah, just watch them in order, too. Chronological order of his movies. So you watch the ending of The Mummy first. Yes. And then you watch fucking, yeah. <laughs> but only the ending. <laughs> Yes. The horrible 3D animated rock scorpion monster. Yes. Yes. He's a, our, yeah, yeah. Fucking, Was yeah. that his first one? His his first feature, like, and well, his first feature definitely be Scorpion King. His, no, I think we, his first, we'd have to watch. Okay, I'm I'm looking up IMDB. I'm looking up The Rock. He was no, on Saturday Night Live. The rock. <laughs> fucking George. Fucking what's his face? All what filmography. The There's a hundred credits. We would have to watch a hundred movies. Well, I've seen a few of them already. Oh, no, okay. There's a lot of his wrestling as part of the credits, too. Oh, um, like Beyond the Mat or something? <laughs> like, yeah, no, that don't count. <laughs> yeah. Um, that probably is on there. The Hip Hop Apollo TV this? series. Okay, there's Fully Loaded TV movie. I don't know if you'd have to watch that. Fully Loaded, it was a pay-per-view. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're calling the pay-per-views T. Yeah, because now I see No Way Out, and I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, um, yeah The Mummy Returns seemed to be his first movie movie. Yeah. Then should so be you Scorpion got The Mummy King. Returns, <laughs> then you got Long Shot, then Scorpion King. Oh, Long King. Shot. And I'm not going to read all shot? of these. I don't remember Long Shot at all. 
It must have not been great. <laughs> um, God, the, I remember the one where he was like the sheriff and beating people up with a two-by-four and stuff. Yeah, walking tall. You got yeah, to that one, down. yeah. You got beat. Yeah, cool. I remember the run down. Yeah, I remember that too. Oh, fuck. No, uh, I can't do the podcast. Cannot do it. <laughs> what? Cannot do. We have to watch all the Rock movies. Can't do it because you, in you 2005, two, he was in the worst movie ever made, Doom. Can't do it. No, what? Doom's the best movie ever made. Especially all right, that's it for part. this week, folks. <laughs> fuck. Fucking fuck. I liked it better than the new Doom game. But uh, I'm so um, done with you. I do, I do want to see, I do want to watch uh, Moana, because you know, animated shit, and yeah, yeah, and Baywatch. Yeah. Uh, I might have to give that one a chance. <laughs> and then there's a few <laughs> announced. It actually, it would. I gotta admit, Jumanji, Jumanji remake with him and Kevin Hart. What the fuck? Why are you? And it's like, it's like a video game. That's how they get into the Jumanji world, not a board game, because you know. It's got to be up to date with to nowadays. Like, why did you even remake that fucking movie? I mean, Robin Williams is probably choked. The Rock movie <laughs> podcast. I want to see anytime you come up with an idea for a podcast, somebody did it. The Con Air, The Rock podcast. Nope, that's not it. Nope. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson Johnson podcast. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> No, I I think I think we might be the first. I mean, I'm not right. saying we should do yeah. it, but put a padded on it. <laughs> Can't release right, this part of the podcast. When you start this podcast. <laughs> two things. Yes, I will be a guest on it, and make sure you tag Team White Trash on Twitter. I want to hear this. I would listen to this podcast. <laughs> oh, we got Fucking one match it. left. Oh, we do. What? Yeah. <laughs> The authors oh, yeah. of pain. Uh, oh yeah, you, versus, you say well, you say NXT title win. It's like that. You always think it as the main event, right? Yeah. Hashtag no. DIY. Yeah, the second best ladder match. match. Good shit. Like I love violence. A lot of bumps. These like these fuckers put it on the line. Like that one time they jumped off that big ass ladder. Fucking Johnny and fucking the Ch- Champa. Fucking like overshot. It's like breaking necks and shit. Yeah, well, I mean, good you shit. Got- Okay, so you got the Authors of Pain, which is, what What are their names? Toka and Razor? Yeah, they're basically... Shout Bob out and Teddy. to Secret of the Ooze. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that's it. I, I don't even know. I don't even care what their names are now. Now they are Toka and Razor. And, yeah. like, Tommaso Ciampa is a fucking beast. Love that guy. Gargano, Gargano could go. Yeah, but, yeah. And one of one of my favorite matches that happened in the CWC was them two taking on each other. They were still good partners, good friends, but they had a match against each other. And that they went the fuck off. That's because they're you know they they they've been working together. So yeah, no, no, they know what's up. Good shit. In the end, Arthur of Pain still won the fucking titles. You know these big these two big motherfuckers. And then you see it, and and Ciampa and Gargano are sitting in the ring. You kind of see this look on fucking Ciampa's face, just like, fuck. Like, you know. So as they make their way back up the ramp, the, you know, the, the logo appears at the bottom screen, the credits. Then fucking Ciampa starts killing Gargano. Ciampa goes he Oh, fuck. He does good work as a heel. Like, yeah, he goes here. Yeah. He had this great storyline with him where he, he was the Italian psychopath, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he just kept, like, freaking out. And so then That's he what he got, did. He got suspended, he, right? But they brought him back. And if he hurt anybody that wasn't a wrestler, like a ring crew or a ref or an announcer or whatever, he yeah, gets plant, suspended yeah. again. And he like accidentally bumped somebody. And he's like, no, 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 no. Like, oh, fuck. The way he <laughs> sold it was just fucking like total, yeah. like, you know, this is wrestling type shit. Um, no, they, they like they like went up the ramp and they kind of embraced for like a quick little hug and like Gargano, I mean Ciampa whispered like it like this is my moment and then he threw him into the fucking you know the the stage and shit, hit him some more, did some other shit. They eventually made their way on top of the announcer's table and he put him up in like the uh kind of like that uh that move that Seamus does where he kind of holds him upside down to an angle. You know what I'm talking about like the hours curse, kind of put him like in that position. 
and jump backwards off the announcer's table onto some other tables that were on the fucking ground. And yeah, they fucking put Gargano through the yeah, and Gargano goes out on a fucking stretcher. So that was the end of the pay per view. End of the pay per view. And yeah, them two, like I said, them two already had some had that good match in CWC. So I definitely can't see wait to see uh, their rivalry that they're gonna have now. <laughs> That's gonna be cool. Yeah. Gonna be yeah. cool. cool. cool man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah. Now let's talk about. WCW Bastards Beach 90, not Bastards Beach 95. Let's go right now. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie to you. About 45 minutes ago, I'm like, shit, I forgot to pee before the podcast. He's like, but I just peed like two minutes ago. <laughs> it's like, so I'm good now. I mean, it's to like, be fair, up. I have been staring <laughs> at this empty water bottle I got here. But nah, I, I have I have Billy and Mandy going on right now. It's just muted, so that's what I've been staring at. That way, there's an image on TV and not just like a fucking still shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear don't you. need no burn ins, man. I've been yeah. I don't even issue. know if those are still a thing, but I'm still paranoid about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it depends on how old your TV is. I guess. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This, yeah. This, like I have a monitor ship. There's a HD TV hooked up to it, to it, to a little bit to it too. But yeah, it's like three years old or so, some shit, you know. Right. On. And I've done say I've seen partial burn-ins on it, but they've gone away like over a little bit of time. So. Well, I think what? I think if you pull up like a straight white image, and yeah, that bright as shit, it'll... it's supposed to. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I've seen Hate had one doing one of his old HDTVs. I never just fucking know. It no matter. It's like a big dark spot. Like, it was fucked. <laughs> See what I did it there, ain't... folks? I'm like, dude, I really got to pee. And he's like, all right, I'm just going to keep rambling. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, even... I thought, I thought yeah. you I thought, yeah, I thought fuck, you were going to be me. like. <laughs> no, that sounds like an issue, not an ish me. You know, like. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, man. So, do you, <laughs> have fuck you. you. Come on. End the goddamn show. <laughs> has has anybody told you about Jesus? Yeah. I want to talk to you about Jesus a little bit. So. <laughs> As <laughs> always, people. Hey, man. Persona Q. God though, it's damn not- it. <laughs> <laughs> As always, hope you guys enjoy this shit. And we're out this bitch. <laughs> Later, people. Motherfucker, now I'm here. What up, world? Legs in the sky when I'm up in your girl. Never said that I was a winner. I was more like a sinner who would cheat for a dinner in the middle of the winter. If it meant I could get away summer, my bad. I'm just trying to be me. Hope y'all see when you see me on the TV or a city. And I'm nice like a heady because I write like a minute. I ain't trying to be a heater, but I flow like a heathen. You can see me and see me in hell. Me, I mean, well, get it? Water? I